there are certain reasons why social media has kept on digging into your ledoche. It is not because people woke up and decided to hate on him or maybe drag him recklessly for no reasons at all. It is because you let Deutsche represent what humanity should not be. This is someone that a lot of people respected his craft. A lot of people appreciated his craft. He graced the screens of a lot of his fans. Home and abroad, all over, down to the Caribbean. He did. He did. He has touched many lives with his craft but people did not see the other side of Yule Duchi, I mean his personal life and now they woke up to this rude shock like oh what is this like what kind of man is this and don't forget that uh, people will at times even the character that you exhibit people might dislike you because they cannot separate you and the script you and the character. Now that Yule Duce in real life is demonstrating this wicked wickedness, it didn't resonate with a lot of people well. They, they are not happy at all. Like, what is this? And you know what that means? Decline. Decline in the number of fans. Decline in interest to watch Yule Duce's movie. And in conclusion, Yule Duce will be broke because there will be less interest. There will be less endorsement or none at all. Things will be bad. So bad. So, so bad. We are going to talk about May here and also Cute Misiano. And you, you're about to hear some very deep things. You see, a man that came out to say that 2023 is the best year of his life when he lost his son, a man that also kept putting caption, thank you, Jesus, not because of any other thing, because his side end that, he, that he's tagging a second wife, gave back to a child, got pregnant, and all of that. He did not even show any form of remorse or pain. He didn't show any of that when his son, Kambili Chiko, passed away. The question is this. How bad can you, Edoche, how, I mean, how bad can he project himself? So, you, Edoche, do you, do you hate your son this much? Now, I want you to listen to what Priceless hears. Prideless hair. Or is it prideless hair? I want you to listen to what she has to say. It's important that you pay attention. She is one of me, Etoche's partner, business associate, and also friend. How oh, some of these things started happening together at the same time. And we share children. Everybody broke down. That is what I'm now understanding. And we were on our own end. So sure. I was busy doing the stuff I was doing preparing for my fair. 
So this whole thing dragged this girl down. And I heard this, she started taking medication and stuff like that. Yesterday night, uh, sorry, this morning, I then called Miss Yana. I said, Miss Yana, I did not see me. Uh, so she also did not attend that one. So she really said that maybe, I don't know what was going on in my mind. Let me, let, let me now know that even, whether even the day wise one, she also says she's not attending. Let's know the kind of video that's worrying her. I don't know. Miss Yana said she almost did not attend though. That she that they were dragging her, that she sent she sent one those husband to just drag her. This one, this one. So that is how they said they were able to drag her out of that one. And she now she said, God knows me, I'm not in Lagos. So maybe tomorrow morning, Miss Yano will go and meet her and for, for them to to I've called and tell her that I've called her, but she just spoke small and you understand. Why is this one saying April Fool? Is everything that is a joke? Which one is a pray fool? A pray fool that if I want men to come for my fair, I cannot break her to come for What's wrong with you people? I'm trying to explain something. You're telling me a pray fool. What is a pray fool inside? Like, which one is given? Did I tell you I'm angry? I'm telling you what was in my mind before. It was in my mind, but I was not still angry with her. I was just wondering the type of human being. But I did not know what was happening. The things that they were posting that triggered her or stuff like that. So please, if you were among the people that were coming to me asking me all those questions, this is exactly what happened. What I'll do, I can't even fly to Lagos. So it's Miss them that will go and know how they will, will, will sort her, sort her out. Do you understand? So everything is not all about selling at this point for her. Yes, for people because I kept talking about the lip gloss, all the things it is now. Somebody will come. In fact, it, I don't. I don't want to tell you what I felt in that venue. Do you understand? In the hands of. Which one is a place for what is to start? But well, she's going through a lot. She's going through a lot. I actually appreciate Nigerians that I've tried to show her a lot. But I'll tell you for the truth. Most of all these things is on the ground. Just imagine that what this one week that everybody was busy and they left her alone. Nobody even knew what was happening. <laughs> yes, I don't like to put um put mouth in those their issues, but and that sometimes like even at this time I'm wishing that I don't know her. The way they're affecting you, now be asking yourself, how did you get me? Who is this? Please do not stop saying this here. Go and sort it out, get out. Did I tell you I'm having any issues with anybody? Did I tell you I'm having any issues with anybody? I'm just trying to tell you what what happened or because I felt I did I needed to communicate to you people the situation. So that said, I will I will go off, we'll just try to rally around her and then um, whatever. At this at this point that, yeah, so that is what is going to happen. Thank you so very much. Um um and I think that one has ended. Yes, that is how she should not come to Abuja. Um, she will be fine. Definitely she will be fine. Like I usually say, the only part that affects me in all this uh, stuff that is going on is just that child she lost. Otherwise, this is normal for human being behavior. Men come, men go. If the man decides to somebody that show them, I don't know how some of these things started happening. To Welcome back. That was priceless here. You see she made something clear that if it were only separation divorce there's no big deal about that men come and go women come and go it could be devastating at times because you have imputed you have put so much you have invested and everything comes tumbling down it could be devastating but what can be more devastating more what more can be devastating when you lose your son you lose your child and the man that is supposed to be father to that child is celebrating with another woman on social media and making it obvious that the demise of your child his own child is worthless. You recall what the devil's advocate said, Sarah Martins, that on that day, when Yule Doche was forced, like he had to go because they needed his father to sign the documents and do what they need to do, 
You know, Yule Duche did not even throw any tantrum about the demise of his son. I mean, he wasn't at home, he was in school, and he dropped. He had cardiac arrest, he had some perpetition, or whatever it is that happened to that boy. Do you know that Yule Duche did not question the school, like, what happened, what did he eat? I want forensic analysis, I want autopsy, I want this and that. No, not at all. Obviously, they knew what happened to him. They did what they needed to do. Yule Duche did not even bother about it. We didn't see, of, let's say, he felt bad. If Yule Duche can show every part of his life on social media, why not that particular part? Showing that part, does it make him look or appear weak? In conclusion, he said, eh, my auntie, that's Rita Duche, eh, people are now saying that I am behind the device of my son, that I sacrificed my son for rituals. Of course, of course. Because you could not even pretend about it. You did not pretend about it. You made it obvious. You made it obvious that the demise of your son is what you've been expecting, is what you want. Sarah Martins told us that you had a three-way call. You were discussing with Judy. Sarah was online. She heard what you said. Judy was telling you, baby, Odogu, the strong man, the elephant of the jungle, I am missing your bola. Are you going to come? My pekus is... There is nothing you didn't... You, you, you kept on laughing. You were so happy. It is unusual. Even Sarah Martins had to withdraw a bit like, wait, hold on a second. Judy, this is not the time to say things like this. And Judy also said, hey, leave me alone. You don't even know anything. There is more. There is more to what you don't know. Leave me. Then she came out to now celebrate and also to now say, God is good to her. God is a merciful God. God is this. You remember she was putting on that uh, pink top, pink dress. That God is good to her. Oh, Jehovah is my Lord. Mary is my uncle. Ah, She started doing that trash. You remember? You let Duche. Ah, now wow. This is wickedness. You let Duche. That is why people will keep dragging you. Not because you, you got yourself involved in another woman. On, no, men do these things. Even women do it. They have side this, side dish, side plate, side fork, side spoon, side. They have all of that. But you, you are the worst of the worst. You couldn't even show any sign of pain, remorse, or I mean, your your wife Judy said, "Are we the one to tell you? Like, are you are we the ones to tell your leduche the odogu out of mourning, son? That everyone has ways of mourning their 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 loved ones. We understand, but putting that caption, 2023 is the best year of your life. Is that how you?" Judy Austin, is that how you would have mourned your children if they, if the same that happened to Kambili happened to them? This is disgusting.